Hello there, everybody. Um, so we'll give it just a minute for everybody to join um, on our call today, but thanks for coming in. And as uh, I'll, I'll mention this again um, when we're done, but uh, please use the uh, Q&A function if you have any questions. Uh, the more participants we have, the better. So, uh, so we definitely want your questions as we kind of go through this and we will, we will talk, uh, talk through these things as we go, but um, uh, please use the, um, uh, please just use the, uh, the Q&A function. That'll be very helpful for us to kind of keep everything organized as opposed to the chat function. Okay, and it looks like most everybody has um, logged in. So I think we'll go ahead and get started. So hello everybody, my name is uh, Chuck Wines. I'm a regional sales manager for the Portland Metro region for Adara Homes. Uh, and I'll be running kind of just moderating this um, and running the Q and A session and helping uh, move it along. And I'd like to introduce to you, Joe Becerra. He is a, he is a home ownership counselor out of our Aurora office and um, works with these customers on this home. So Joe will lead us through both the floor plan in general and a video tour of the home. And between the two of us, we'll answer all of your questions as we go. So one last time, please use the uh, Q&A function should you have any questions. And uh, we will kind of cover that as we go. Um, perfect, nice to see you too, Katie. And uh, so let me introduce you guys. I'll mute myself. Um, this is Joe Becerra. Joe, why don't you go ahead and take over? Hi, everybody. Again, my name is Joe. I'm a homeownership counselor here with Adair Homes in the Aurora, Oregon branch. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Um, I'm going to kind of just jump right into this. First, I wanted to just share with you guys kind of like the Adair website and how it works. Um, super user-friendly website. When you click onto adairhomes.com, um, the, the home screen will come up. We, we build in four states and even the states are separated into different regions. So you always wanna make sure you click, click up here and you can change your region. So that way you're looking at wherever um, uh, office is gonna help you and where you're thinking about building. You can always call any Adair office and we'll be happy to look up the address and lead you to the right office, give you the correct phone number to call, all those kind of good things. Um, and then once you're on the right region, then you just wanna click in here and then when you're reviewing plans, you go to our plans. It's a drop down menu. You can look at one story, two story, larger homes, things like that. Today, we're going to be looking at the Olympus plan. Um, it is one of our super popular plans. Um, it's got a great, um, I'll show you the floor plan in a minute, but some of the highlights, it's got an open living concept, um, which is really popular. It's got the split master bedroom with the other bedrooms. It's got a den. It's a, it's a really great plan. This is a really cool story here because this particular family, I actually met with mom and dad first who are thinking of building on some property that they own, but it's the property is dividable into three lots. And so they want their two daughters to also build on the lots. So mom and dad were super excited. We were ready to start building pretty much ready to go. And then they went home and shared it with one of their daughters. Well, she instantly called me the next day and said, Joe, I need to come see you tomorrow. So her and her husband came in the next day and they wanted to beat mom to the punch. So they actually started first. So once she started, mom and dad decided to put theirs on hold for just a second. So now they're, they're moved in now. So now mom's gonna come in and meet with, with me pretty soon and then we'll start on their home. So kind of a cool story there. They'll all be living together in the same area. So the Olympus, when you look at it, first thing, and this is for any home that you're looking at, once you click on, on the home that you're selecting to look at, a picture is gonna come up. And as you scroll down, it's gonna give you an overview kind of highlights of the home here. You're gonna get a base price, square footage, bedrooms, bathrooms. There's some different options that you can always play around with here. As you scroll down, it's gonna give you the floor plan and I'll come right back to that, but I wanted to go down and share with you, each of our plans comes with different exterior options. Some of them may have two options, some may have three, some might have five, it just varies. With this one, there's actually three options. So you have the traditions, you have the craftsman, you have the farmhouse. And uh, something that's really important to mention is 
uh, th the outside look changes, but nothing inside the house changes. So you get all your great standard features with, with, with any of the selections you pick. Um, again, our exteriors, when you're clicking on the photos, the cool thing is as you click on the photos, right below the photos is a description of what the exterior is consisting of. So when you click over to Craftsman, it's now gonna change the selection just a little bit to show you why it's different. And again, some of the highlights are, you know, we use James Hardy, um, lap siding, Jeldwin windows, Moen faucets, um, Ridgecrest cabinets, shawl flooring. I mean, it, it's a great uh, basic floor plan, or I'm sorry, standard feature plan. Also important to note is when you're looking down here, as you scroll down, then it is gonna give you different price points for the different plans that you're thinking about selecting. So each exterior option comes with a different plan, a different price, I'm sorry. It's gonna give you some more highlights here. So it's a super great website. Um, from here, what I'd like to show you is just kind of the plan. So this is what a standard plan looks like when you first um, you know, are, are choosing which one you may wanna build or consider. So this is what the standard plan looks like. Again, some of the highlights are that um, open living space, open space right here with the dining room, great room, kitchen, super popular. Um, you got your primary suite on one side with your bedrooms on the other, bonus room in the back, then. So it's, it's a great, great plan. People really like um, the plan because it also has some shop area here. So you have your standard garage space, but a little bit of uh, work area for any kind of shop or craft room, whatever you want to do out there. And so now I think what we'll do is go into the actual plan. So this is what the customers uh, ended up doing, uh, the homeowners. They, they made some changes. Um, what they did, they didn't do a lot of modifications as far as uh, with a dairy, you know, we're, we're super versatile. You know, you can add floor, you can add uh, living space, you can move walls, you can, you know, add walls, you can make a room larger, um, you can move the kitchen, you can do anything you want, uh, which is really nice. They did more some of the, the regular upgrades, but, but they did do considerable upgrades. They did um, nine foot ceilings, they did a uh, vaulted living area. They added a patio cover. Um, they also put a sliding glass door in the master suite in, in place of their regular window. Um, they did a gourmet kitchen, farm sink, uh, fireplace. So, and also the husband is pretty tall. So on their master bath upgrade, they also did a custom uh, tub because that was super important to him. And he did a super long tub for him. So we, we did all that for him. So they're super excited about their house. Um, Chuck, anything to add on this? Uh, I do see something that I'm guessing that they did kind of a, a fun little option here is in the master suite, it looks like they really wanted access to the utility room. So it looks like we added a door from the walk-in closet into the utility space. So just looking over it real quick, I thought that was kind of a, a, yeah. a good idea. That's something that I would probably like in my master suite is direct access to a utility room. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, and, you know, let's say, let's say you've always wanted the, you know, uh, a, a bedroom closet too, you know, if that shop space isn't particularly useful for you too, you could always push that shop wall out a couple of feet and add to the closet space, you know, because because they lost some shelving for that too. So, sure. so just some, some different options you could think through with any of the plans. Yeah, no, that was a great option they did. The husband really wanted the tub and that door. <laughs> so, okay. I think we'll start the video then, right? Again, we encourage everybody to use that Q&A at the bottom and just ask questions. Here we go. So again, what we're looking at here, we're looking at the traditions uh, exterior option. As we mentioned, different options, they went with the exterior of traditions. So that's, that's a good look at it there. We'll start the video. So again, just kind of want to stop it right there. Um, many options with the deer, but obviously here what they did is they did an, an upgraded floor right in your entryway going into your great room, kitchen, dining room, which just gives the house a great look. And that's something they decided to add. There's a look at the den and then the den, they left standard carpet in there. Again, it's a Shaw carpet. It's a, it's a great carpet. That's a standard carpet. Go 
went into the half bath here. So when we go in here, let's see if we can get a good look at this. Right there, just to give you a quick idea, they did also the upgraded flooring straight into the half bath, which I thought was a really nice look. And that's the nice thing about Adair is you can change different rooms. You can choose different flooring and you'll see that they did some different flooring in a different bathroom, which, which is really nice. Um, as long, uh, along with this great selection they did. There's a quick look at their vault. Like I mentioned, they did do nine foot ceilings and a vault. So if you can see, that's a pretty dramatic kitchen and a great room dining area. They also did a skylight back there. Uh, so it's, it's just a great, great looking house. They're super excited about this house. Fireplace as well. There's bathroom two. We'll take a better look at that in just a second, but it's gonna go in and I believe show you a couple of bedrooms here. So again, that's a standard carpet. Even though they did a lot of upgrades on their flooring, they did a lot of standard, which just shows you that Adira has just some great standard uh, options for you to select. Here's a good look. So if you remember in the half bath, they did a luxury vinyl plank in there, but in bath two, they did a standard vinyl. And this is a pretty popular standard vinyl. Um, it's, it's been really popular. I think it looks really great in there. And then that's a standard tub shower combination in there. And um, they were really excited. That's their kid's bathroom. Another bedroom there. There's another good look. Um, so they did do the uh, Craftsman window wrap there. So that's a good look at the Craftsman window wrap that they did. Uh, Dare offers like three different options and that's the one they selected for their window. Windows. And Joe, what comes standard with the windows? So standard is just going to be sheetrock all the way around, which is becoming really popular. It's just a really clean look. But then sometimes people want to do the sill and apron, which is just the bottom sill with the apron. Or you can do the, the craftsman that we just showed you. And then there's also an architectural wrap that they're able to, to pick from. And anytime you visit an Adair office, um, the design centers all have uh, uh, features that you can look at that show you the differences between them up up front in person there. And Joe, one of the questions is, so do yeah, bedrooms have a vault as well? I'm sorry? Uh, do the bedrooms have a vault? These do not, they do not. Let's have a look at that kitchen. So if it's a little loud, we are doing some remodeling here. If anybody can hear that, we're doing some remodeling here in, the, in our uh, office. So here's a great look at the kitchen. So what they did here was they did a gourmet kitchen package which is an appliance upgrade. It gives you, if you, can, if you can see normally, you would get this stove here with your cooktop, but now you get a double oven with the microwave moved over and you also get a hood, a super nice kitchen. They also did a two-tone kitchen, which a lot of people call it. So they did the uh, white cabinets, but then their island is a different color, which is becoming really popular. Um, super, super excited about that kitchen. It's a good look at the hood and the uh, gas. There's a farm sink that they've also selected as an upgrade. Fireplace. And Joe, why don't you pause there real quick? We have a question. Yeah. Uh, on the fireplace. Yes. Uh, what What is that surround on the fireplace? That is a standard tile surround. You get a couple of different choices. And then there's also, you know, a, a lot of different upgrades you can do. You can do a stain, uh, I'm sorry, a stone but uh, that was a standard surround. 
And then um, another question on the island, um, if you wanna uh, back up to a picture of the island right there, you see kind of um, how big is the island? And then could you do posts on the outside instead of the, the cabinet pieces? Yes, you can. These are just the options that you could do. Let me see. Let me see if I can find the exact. I don't have the exact dimensions of the island right now. Uh, 10 foot by four foot is the size of that island. Found it, yes. Thank you, Chuck. <laughs> yeah, it's a very large island. Yeah. And that is the standard size of the island in that plan. It's a 10 foot by four foot island. It is. Um, Katie's asking if the cabinets can be made to be taller. Yes, you can. Um, great question, Katie. Um, with the dare, again, this family selected nine foot ceilings. So anytime you go with nine foot ceilings, it's, it's a pretty good package because you actually get the upper cabinets in the kitchen all become 36 inch instead of 30 inch, which is standard. Um, but yes, you can select those as custom to just make them larger. Again, in the nine foot ceilings, you also, um, if it's a, the main level would also be one foot taller windows throughout the house. And then your garage door is normally seven feet tall, it becomes eight feet tall. So it's kind of for symmetrics, it's kind of all a package we put together with the nine foot ceiling option. Thanks, Katie. And then could you also talk about um, some of the uh, kind of the cabinet options, uh, the cabinet company that we use and some of the standard options that people have for them? Yeah, so um, Ridgecrest Cabinets are the ones we use. They are a really popular cabinet company. They're, they're utilized by a lot of different uh, companies. Um, so we offer standard uh, beech wood cabinets. There's seven different finishes that you can choose from that are all standard. And then we have a multitude of upgrades that you can choose from and a lot of different colors that you can also select from. So definitely a large cabinet selection. Great pantry, a lot of shelving, plenty of room. There's a good shot of our, these are also, um, again, this family did tons of upgrades, but those are our standard interior doors. It's a six panel interior door. Those are pretty popular as well. And then there are some different options that people can choose from for interior doors. So here's the master. And um, again, what they did here is they did do an upgraded carpet in the master and then they put the sliding glass door out to their backyard here. So pretty cool. Uh, quick question, Joe, can uh, customers choose to do recessed lights everywhere or can they provide their own light fixtures? So we do do the options of doing recessed lights anywhere. Um, we have a pretty good selection of their own um, lighting uh, package, but um, there are different options. They can't provide their own, but we do have a really good website that gives more options than what we have in our showrooms. But yes, you can do recessed can lighting and anywhere you'd like. Again, if you notice here, their bathroom has a different, um, there's their walk-in shower that's part of the master bath upgrade. There's a good shot of that longer tub that the husband really wanted. He's pretty tall. It's the super nice bathroom. The walk Joe, That's a, go ahead, Chuck. Um, and what other kind of um, what other kind of options do people have for the showers and things like that? Well, it comes with a standard tub shower combination, meaning the traditional tub with a shower head. There, it's a tub shower combo. So, some of the popular upgrades is you can just take the tub shower out and just do a walk-in shower only. Again, this family did a, a master bath upgrade, which creates a walk-in shower and a soaker tub. 
but um, but then they also customize the tub. Uh, we've had people select different kinds of tubs. Again, um, tons of options on on bathrooms. Uh, we've had people do you know for um, the safety bar. You know, if someone's got a little bit more difficulty going in and out, we've done a walk-in shower, so there's no step. In, or I'm sorry, walk-in tub, so there's no st uh, step in. It just opens up a door, and you can actually roll in or just walk in without having to go over a step. So tons of options with that. And then if you want to maybe back up for a second, back into the um, bathroom, is that, could you tell us of the countertops and the backsplashes in the bathroom? Yeah. So that is actually um, a standard backsplash with a upgraded, uh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, standard countertop with an upgraded backsplash. And what is the backsplash? That is going to be just a, a tile, I mean, I'm sorry, a subway tile backsplash. And um, our houses come in the bathroom and kitchens all come with standard backsplash and plenty of choices to upgrade there. And the customer is interested, do we do standalone tubs? That's changed a little bit, but Chuck, maybe you can help me on this. As far as I know, we are still allowing standalone tubs. Um, yes. we. Um, if you want to back up maybe to the tub spot there, I'll um, kind of highlight. So we, we do do a standalone tub. They can get kind of expensive depending on the plumbing that's required for it. So we've, we've sourced one that's a standalone tub where the faucet comes out of the wall. Uh, so go ahead and pause there. So you can see how the faucet comes out of the wall right there. So we do have a standalone tub where the, where the plumbing hardware can still, still come out of the wall. Once you start getting into the floor faucets, the floor faucets are just, just really astronomically expensive. So, um, so we've got what we've sourced what we would consider a, you know, a, a reasonably priced standalone tub. Um, if you want to do something differently, we could definitely do something differently. But um, we feel like we sourced one that kind of meets most needs for most people. Well, and maybe talk through just, you know, what are our family of brands, Joe, and, you know, you know, siding and flooring and appliances and things like that. Sure. So we do Whirlpool appliances. Again, we do the Hardy Plank siding, the Geldwin windows, uh, Ridgecrest cabinets, Mullen faucets, Shaw flooring. Um, just... I mean, I think that covers the, the the standard ones. Can you add any more, Chuck? In there? Oh no! So yeah, Whirlpool and KitchenAid would be the appliance options that we provide customers. Um, and then yeah, mostly we try to just stick to the to those family of brands right there. But it's all national, you know, uh, you know, strong companies that we work with. There's the door, Chuck, that you were talking about, I believe, right? <laughs> Yeah, I really like that floor and it's been really popular. And this is the first time I've actually seen it in a video. It looks pretty cool. And what kind of cabinetry comes in a utility room? So the utility rooms don't come with any cabinets at all, but there's tons of options for you to choose from if you want to add your own cap or you want to add some cabinets in there. Then some people choose to add their own later. But there are, you know, you can do a utility sink, you can do cabinets above the washer and dryer, uh, plenty of options in there. And somebody was wondering what that big unit was in that in the room there. We'd have to back up because I'm not 100% certain either. Did I go back too far or are we still there? Um, maybe not far enough. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Yeah. Is that the furnace? There we go. Yeah. Is that what it looks like? Yep. That looks like a furnace. <laughs> um, customers wondering is can we um, hide the water heater? and the furnace in the laundry room. You can usually do an enclosure in there. That's, that's what um, we've done before. Um, the, the furnace definitely can be enclosed. Um, the water heaters get a little tricky because our standard water heater is a heat pump water heater. 
So it needs, it needs airflow to function properly. So um, if they were to enclose it, it'd have to be like a louver door or something like that that allows plenty of airflow in there. Um, uh, they, uh, Shonda was asking if they're allowed to be in the garage anymore. They are not. Oregon Energy Code changed and going forward, all furnaces must be in air conditioned living space. So, so in all new houses, you're going to see a furnace inside of the house. Yes. So here's that's even if you insulate your garage, it has to be heated and cooled space. It cannot be, it cannot even be in an insulated garage. And that's a super recent change, right, Chuck? That this yeah, that was um, just a couple months ago. Yeah. So here's a great look at the patio cover from the back. That's something that they added to this home. It is a, a feature that Adair offers that you can add. Um, uh, a question again about in the ceiling. Nope, it cannot be in the ceiling either. It, um, it has to be uh, within because the ceilings are not air conditioned living space. Um, so nope, it's going to be in the house somewhere. I'm afraid. A um, couple other questions. Did we do the concrete work outside the house? We did not. So that's, an, that's another option that um, Adair offers their homeowners to complete on their own. Many times they'll do direct to third party wholesalers or some of them you know, take that project on on themselves, but we did not do the, the cement work outside the house here. Can we do it? Um, we don't offer that right now unless you go for the turnkey package, which um, is available to all homeowners. And then it does include some outside cement work. Do you want to talk quickly about the difference between the turnkey and the non-turnkey? Sure. So um, Adair has established a lot of different ways that the homeowner can participate when they're preparing their property. And then uh, you just kind of take that on, but Adair assists you through it a little bit, and then you go ahead and complete those. But we do offer a turnkey package, which now a lot of the responsibility falls on Adair to help you with some of those. And it does include... Um, Flat work, um, it varies from house to house on the price, but uh, what's not included in there are still permits and painting, but then we still do a lot of your um, uh, prep work. Chuck, do you want to comment a little bit more about the what the turnkey currently entails? Um, yeah, it, it, it makes it easier for people that are out of state or, or have very busy lives that, that just can't participate a lot in the in the project and things like that. So the cleanup work, the debris removal, um, the dry out if dry out's needed. So, so we pick up a lot of the leg work on the turnkey option. Um, and then we can modify the concrete packages kind of like what they show here. So, so we could work with you on whatever you want to do as far as that goes. Thanks, Joe. And there's the video. So again, Chuck, did you want to, do we have any more questions out there, Chuck? Yep, we've got a few. So um, uh, if I have my own floor, uh, flooring, will Adair, will Adair install that? We, we're not able to use outside vendors or materials. Um, so we, we, we need to use our materials for flooring. Um, let's see here. And the, does that apply to houses under contract as well? Um, if you have approved permits, then, then you would be, then you'd be fine. You know, uh, as far as the location of the hot water heater and, um, the, the furnace, but for permits going forward, they'll be, they'll be doing it under the new Oregon energy code guidelines. Um, so a question, how does the AC work in the system? Um, can system with hack heat pump, are there units like ductless hanging on walls? So, so what is the standard, what is the standard, um, uh, heating cooling system? And is that included in the base price? And then do we have other options available? Yeah. Central heat and air is standard. And so it is included in the base price. And then, yes, we have different options where you can go to ductless and, uh, things like that, of course. Um, are permits and painting um, out-of-pocket expenses? Yeah, so those are not included in here. They're, they're so particular to the jurisdiction you're building in. So uh, permits and painting are separate from the base price. 
Okay, um, a question I'll answer real quick. In the garage, we flipped. Yes, we have we have mirror images of all the plans. So, um, so yeah, just that's always just kind of property and, and layout dependent on the property and stuff like that. Um, if a customer doesn't own property, can we help them with the land? So what, what we do is um, at each individual office, we've partnered with realtors who um, are experts at getting land uh, listings. And so what we usually do is for instance, if someone comes to me and they want help with land, I'll direct them to one of two realtors that I mostly use. And both of them are really great with assisting and looking for land. And I think every office works pretty much the same way with that. Okay. Um, is it possible to expand the back porch area that is covered? Yes, you can definitely modify the, the dimensions. Okay, and um, what if a customer doesn't see a flooring in our showroom? What are our options? And I guess what are the flooring options in general? So what we have, we offer, obviously we offer the, just um, as far as flooring, we offer, you know, carpet or vinyl is standard, but then we probably have a good 40 to 50 different carpet options out there. And then as far as to replace the vinyl, we have uh, engineered hardwood, we have laminate, and we have luxury vinyl plank. And there's probably, again, another 40 to 50 options there. Um, I have had people that do want to go outside of that. So we are able to submit um, or actually send them a link to our vendor and they can shop that vendor website. And if they see something they like, we can get them a quote and see if they like the price and they, they can select from something on the website that we send them. Um, and of course, tile is available as well. Sorry, yes, tile as well. Um, uh, Agnes is wondering about the options for standalone wood burning stoves. Can we install them or have um, the house prepped for it? So we, we can install them. Uh, we, can, we do not prep. So your two options would be either you have a dare do it, do the wood stove for you, or potentially third party after the fact, you'd look into it. Yep. And we have, yeah, lots of options as, as far as um, that goes. Um, Tom asks, how long will the build take? That's a great question. It varies from region to region. Of course, the Adair timeline is, is, is very fluid um, in general. A rough timeline when we pour foundation to when the home is completed, you're looking at about 150 to maybe 165 days is a rough timeline in my region. Um, but then there's also the permitting process and the jurisdictional process that you're going to go through. So it varies. I think a safe thing to assume is that maybe when you start the process, you're looking at probably 10, 11 months to 12 months to probably move in. But that does vary from region to region just a little bit. Yeah, I'd say talk to talk to your local branch wherever you're at, um, because those things will vary depending on where you build. You know, King County has a nine month permit timeline. So so it's definitely area dependent as far as that goes. And then honestly, so, you know, everything in the world right now is is a challenge uh, as far as um, availability and accessibility. I think we all realize like the, the problems with getting electronics and appliances. And so there has been a lot of challenges that uh, everybody's been facing as far as sourcing materials that can, that can cause delays in the process too. So if anybody gives you a hard timeline right now, I'd say they're probably not being entirely genuine with you. There's definitely a lot of balls up in the air, people, people fighting and scrapping for all the materials that are out there. Um, us being a large builder, you know, largest in the Northwest, um, we've got really strong relationships. So I'd say we're very well taken care of from our from our lumber suppliers and from our from our vendor partners. So another reason why we kind of use the vendor partners is that we've got long established relationships and we are a priority for sourcing materials to them. Okay, God bless you too. Um, uh, removing walls, can we remove walls uh, as an option or a standard? You can, I mean, what, what I always do is when somebody would like to add or remove a wall, um, as soon as we've done a site visit, what we do is we send it up to the drafting team and they're gonna make sure that it's a safe removal or addition and legal. And then we'll actually price it out for you and let you review that. But yes, you definitely can. And I would say, you know, um, cause I'm gonna guess that everybody, you know, on the call today 
is from a different area and things like that. So if you haven't done so, go to your local office, sit down with them. They can draw out um, a more realistic timeline and budget with you and kind of give you an idea of what you're looking at for what you want to do, show you the showroom, show you the options. Um, and help get you started on the path, talk to you about the financing options and what that kind of looks like. So, so if you haven't done so, go to an office and just kind of make an appointment. They're no cost, no obligation, so it, but it'll help you wrap your head around what this would look like for you. So, so don't hesitate to, um, to kind of start a conversation or anything along those lines uh, to, to better understand you know, the full process and, and, and what you're getting into with it. So. Okay, we're gonna give you guys a last call on questions. Fire away if you're um, kind of wondering things. We are here, we are here to help. Okay, sounds good. Well, we appreciate everybody's participation and joining the, the call today. And um, again, you know, if you've got any further questions, reach out to your local office. I'm sure they'll be glad to help you. So everyone have a great day. Thank you. Thanks, Chuck.